Now, Martin Shkreli uh, was suspended from Twitter after a Teen Vogue writer accused a former pharmaceutical executive that, of course, famously uh, raised the price of a prescription drug by over 5,000% of cyber stalking her. So this guy just keeps getting classier and classier. Now, uh, this is uh, right. Writer Lauren Duca. Now, Lauren Duca recently uh, wrote a critical piece uh, called Donald Trump is Gaslighting America uh, that attracted the attention of Shkreli, and he immediately decided to go full creeper on her, posting pictures of his face on Duca's husband's body. Now, this is amazing. I actually got a picture of this. Let's take a look at that. This, this, is, this is somewhat disturbing. What a weirdo. Yeah, that's that's disturbing. <laughs> How creepy is that? Mm -hmm. Now there's uh now on his Twitter uh, profile, he had put, and you'll love this, all right. For better or worse, till death do us part. I'll love you with every single beat of my heart. Now wait a minute, wasn't that a song? I I vaguely remember that that might have actually been a song. <laughs> um, do you know? I'm you know not, it's not coming to me, but if it okay. is, I really hope that band sues him. <laughs> they, they, they can't in that context, yeah. but it'd be fine well, if they could. Well, in the profile description, <clears throat> he writes, I have a small crush on Lauren Duca. Hope she doesn't find out. I'm pretty sure she already knows. My question is, is this guy 12? Because he seems to be acting like it, and maybe I'm being unfair to 12-year-olds. But it's like, I like you, Lauren. <laughs> you yeah, know? what a creep! It, I'm, I'm, I like you so much. I'm gonna Photoshop my head onto your husband's body because I wish I was him and not a loser like myself. You know what's awesome though? We can now add Twitter to the list of entities that has more ethics than the pharmaceutical industry. <laughs> a social, a social media site has higher standards for integrity. And than, Twitter. Like, than an entire industry that's let, that lets people like him be parasitic towards life-saving medications. And, and look, Twitter has not been very good when it comes to harassment. So they've not, they haven't been very uh, they've been kind of selective on who they go after when it comes to harassment. Because, look, Twitter is kind of a cesspool. It's, it's a bit of a hole. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, there are, there are a lot of people getting harassed, and Twitter eh, doesn't normally do something about it, but in this case, they actually did something. Now, uh, there's there's more to uh, his creepiness. Now, I've got another image here of uh, Shkreli, uh messaging her directly on Twitter and inviting her to be his date on the president-elect's inauguration. Let me see if I have the, 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 the image for this one. Because if, if ever there was a night that screams romance, yeah, it's it's the the inauguration of Donald it's Trump. When, it's I don't when actually a have sexual that. predator gets uh, the highest elected position in the world. <laughs> so that no, just I don't screams. I want to cuddle. <laughs> yeah, how about uh... wrong, wrong, wrong? <laughs> it 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 also kind of makes you want to scream. My anus is bleeding. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, now he said, uh, hey, I have a plus one to the inauguration. If you want to be my plus one, okay. Look, that's not so bad, okay? Uh, look, yes, it's still kind of creepy because he obviously knows that she's married and has no interest. And so he's being absolutely obnoxious. But again, I'm just, I'm going to point out, welcome to Twitter. Okay, that's what Twitter is, people being obnoxious. Um However, I do love her response to that question. Uh, Lauren Duca tweet, tweeted out to her response, I would rather eat my own organs. <laughs> I love that. And then that, he responded, that is a response. I'm going to make a pill for that and then evergreen it. <laughs> and then I'm going to raise the price 5,000%. Because that's what I do. Now, um... Uh, uh, speaking to BuzzFeed, Duca expressed hope that Shkreli will stay far away from Twitter and far away from her, uh, saying that he's an entitled creep and absolutely deserves to have his account suspended, perhaps indefinitely. Now, so he got suspended, so he could be back one day. Um, but if you think he's done after getting suspended, oh no, just wait. 
Uh, soon after Scrawley's account was suspended, reports BuzzFeed, Duca had to reach out to uh, Twitter uh, uh, manager Jack Dorsey again after an obscene Twitter account popped up and started attacking her using her own name and her own photo. Now I've got a, uh, an image of this. Take a look. So that's the that's the uh, a screenshot of the Twitter account. That's obviously not hers, and it's, wow. this is her saying, "Hey, this is not me," because uh, in the description, of course, um, it says something about her, and, and I can't read it from here. Her being yeah. uh, a cunt. So, <laughs> and I'm, I apologize for the language, but I'm just saying I'm just reading verbatim here. Um, <laughs> so again, this this guy. He reminds me of a of a, of, a, of a pathetic little boy, someone who well, again teases a girl that they like and then lashes out when they don't when she does not like him back, and it's kind of sad and, and 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 ultimately pathetic. I think it goes further than that, man. I mean, I, I think this dude is just a straight up. Um, what, what's the what's the thing where you like seeing others? Sadist is when you like seeing others in pain, right? Masochist is when you like pain. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say this is when you like seeing others in pain. I think this is when you like it on yourself. No, I think this guy likes being a heel. Uh, I think he likes being the bad guy. Why? Because he gets attention being the jerk, being the, the douchebag, being the bad guy. That's why he, because mm-hmm. because his pattern of behavior points out like, hey, I'm a jerk. Pay attention to me. So like, you're thinking maybe it's slightly masochist, like he likes being hated. I think he likes being hated. It's, it's, those, it's like it's like going back to an old, you know, wrestling kind of uh, archetype, being the heel, being the guy that people that the crowd hates. And I think you it. might be right, man. But my yeah. first inkling, uh, and maybe I'm wrong here, but like my first inkling was almost the opposite that this guy uh, enjoys watching others suffer because I mean he had to have known what he did was going to fuck over so many people and hurt so many people. And he did it with a smile on his face and, and did not care at all. And, and granted, you know, he had financial incentives, sure. But to, like, do something that extreme, I feel like you got to be a bit sadistic. That there was something in him that, that liked seeing these people suffer. But it got uh, it also... He did. But it also got him all sorts of attention. He got Congress's mm-hmm. attention. He got Bernie Sanders' attention. Even got Donald Trump's attention. Right? And, and not even, like... I seem to recall that Donald Trump even was like, yeah, this guy's kind of a dick. Right. Um, and I, I'm like, I'm like the biggest dick. I'm the best dick. I'm the largest dick. Uh, but I even think that this guy's a dick. I have, I, I'm the best dick next to this guy, <laughs> next to this guy. He was very mean to me. <laughs> and then he says, believe me, I don't know, I man. I mean, yeah, maybe chocolate. you're right. Like maybe it's like the, he, the attention, he doesn't care if it's negative or, exactly. but I, I just think like, because there's a lot of things that say, like, trolls to that extreme, which, I mean, he is just essentially a by-the-book troll. But trolls to that extreme that go so far to make fake accounts and stuff like that, like, usually there's a sadistic tinge to these people. They get something out of uh, hurting others. Uh, and and in know? this case, I really think that he gets the attention from hurting people and mm-hmm. uh, doing it on purpose. Because he likes being the bad guy. But the thing is, is that he's not even like a super badass kind of villain type. He's like the pathetic, creepy guy who just acts like a dick for attention. And that's what I think. Now, and, mm. and I want to I wanna illustrate this, too, uh, by going back to the Huffington Post. See, they tried to reach out to him through an email address because he no longer has Twitter, right? And uh, they received the response that said, LOL, suck a dick. Very mature guy. Classy, man. Classy, Classy. dude. Classy but again, begins and ends with Martin. <laughs> that, hey, again, classiness, that's all there really needs to be said about Martin Shkreli. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent, non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.